So finally, after two months and <laughs> countless voice notes, today I sit with Craig from the beer roof. And cheers, Craig. Cheers. Prost. So today we're speaking to Craig from the beer root and Craig, tell us a bit more about the beer root. Yeah, uh, look, I mean, the beer root is an initiative we started in 2017, which mm-hmm. was around the idea of firstly, kind of utilizing tourism in a sense that uh, the breweries realize that there's a reason people want to come to their tap rooms and drink the beer at source, but also then to actually take that in a concise sort of marketing package to government local government and explain to them that this should be part of their offering very similar to wine tourism yeah. beer tourism is a thing uh, people do it in belgium mm. uh, people do it in the states uh, they do it in germany they do it in the uk they do it everywhere uh, but not in south africa for some reason and we've got some of the most picturesque areas around us in the country but certainly in the winelands it's a it was an easy place to start no oh, fantastic and what's the current status of the beer route well, the beer route is, is operational, mm-hmm. so we've got buses that we run yeah. um, for sort of like select occasions, and at the moment it's groups. Before the pandemic, yeah. it was a little bit easier to some extent to kind of uh, do a hop on hop of bus, which mm-hmm. was the plan. Uh, but now we're doing private groups, and, and uh, the idea is with summer coming, we might actually put the, the, the hop on hop of, we probably will put, put yeah. the hop on hop back on the road. So that's the one part of it. The other part of it is actually then working with the CBA, so in developing a uh, a usable map so we've got an online map that's been there yeah. since the beginning using native tools like Google it's very easy for people to use but the idea is that I want to kind of make that even more usable so that we can filter it so it's filtered by city so you can go to uh, Gauteng and then you can see like all of the brews in Gauteng but you yeah. can also go city of Cape Town center and then you can have a look at uh, you know the breweries that's there they all plotted on a map for you and you can decide your journey already pl- plot your own route yeah make and, your own route and and <laughs> adding to that now is how many breweries are involved with this so far like well are, are all of them involved or is it the case of they have to become affiliated to you or is well, it the case of if you have a route you'll just stop there as you go along for me it's all about inclusion yeah so the idea is i mean firstly we don't have thousands of breweries like the states do yeah so we can't really exclude uh, mm. massively anyways but we wouldn't really want to because beer culture in south africa is all about inclusion of course everybody, yes. everybody yeah. is friends i mean if you run out of grain you ask the guy next door and he yeah. gives you some grain so that's that's kind of part of it so the, the, the website actually has uh, two sections to it it's got the enhanced listings yeah. which is what the cbas a memberships uh, kind of give them so that there's maps that then kind of give a little bit more details um, and then there's the the general map the big map and, yeah. and but from social media and all of that we work with everybody we post uh, mm-hmm. and share um, posts from events that's happening in the, yeah. in the beer route which is nationwide I mean mm-hmm. wherever where. and where do you envisage um, the beer route being say five years from now well hopefully with more buses on the road mm. <laughs> of course yes <laughs> because the, the idea yeah. was always to have a hop on hop off service yeah. uh, starting in the one and so we got that going we got that going just before the pandemic mm-hmm. um, literally like a month or so before the pandemic we got that going and then this started hitting and we had to kind of uh, pull back a little yeah. and see where the dust settles uh, and probably February next year we're going to be back with that and then that should be running because what what I really am passionate about is, is, is allowing people to drink responsibly so that when yeah. they go to a, a tap room but they do have an option. Yes. Whether they take that option is completely up to them, and uh, we'd encourage them to do that. But the reality of it is, is there aren't options at the moment um, that's servicing uh, uh, breweries. So the idea is to have a hop on hop off, pair that with some of the wine farms, uh, pair that with some of the other attractions uh, in the wineland specifically, and every region yeah. kind of having the same idea. And, and, and that's kind of where we want to be in five years, where we have a, a transport solution that's running um, operationally. And regularly. Yeah, that would be and brilliant. Safe, and safely. Yeah. You, can, you can go out to Cape Town and you can say, oh, I've had too many. Yeah. I'm going to take the bus home. Okay. That, <laughs> I think a lot of people will love that. But, and then the next question is, if I want to go on a tour, how do I go about doing that? Well, depends on how you want to do it. So if you want to take a group of buddies, yeah. uh, we've got uh, uh, buses that we plug into. So we plug into many different fleets, uh, anything from 12 seaters to 22 seaters. Yeah. Uh, you go to the website. So it's customizable is what you're saying. It's customizable, but it's on the website. And yeah. Depending on the size of it, depends on sort of what you pay on it. Yeah. We try to keep it to under 500 rand if we can for yeah. a day. And the wine that's worth tastings or transport solutions about 250. So yeah. 250 to help on a bus the whole day. You can go to as many breweries as you want. Um, in I'm theory. In, I'm so <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it? it's a no-brainer. I mean, shall we just get one now? Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're going to the bus. <laughs> 
Um, As you can see, I'm a nervous uh, drinker. Yeah. I, I, and <laughs> just so by the way, we want to say thank you to Lily Patrick Craft Brewery for hosting us today. For hosting us, absolutely. Yeah. And it's a good one. You've got the double IPA. Yes. <gasps> Look at this. It's so nice. I need to start the YouTube channel. Crystal clear. Okay. Um, let's just take a break there. Maybe. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You were saying? Yes. So, so with the buses, I mean, any you can do anything. I yeah. mean, you, uh, it, 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 you can you can build a bus. So you're saying it can cater for any budget? Cater for within any means, budget, of course. Yeah. Within means. I mean, obviously, yeah. there's there's transport costs, and uh, yeah. petrol is not not cheap at the moment. But your your idea is that if it's eight of you guys wanting yeah. to go and you want to taste just IPAs, we can make it a just IPA tour. Yeah. That takes you to three or four places, and that's what you sit and drink and you try the different ideas. If you like to venture and it's um, uh, Say, for argument's sake, a, a mixture of sour beers and IPAs yeah. and breaded beers and whatever it might be. You said sour beers. Sour beers. Well, sour beers, intentional sour. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, there's a school of thought there, yeah. but yeah, we'll, we'll look out yeah. for that. We'll, we'll keep training you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so when it comes to when it comes to uh, specialized beer like that, or yeah. stouts, or you know, in the winter mm -hmm. when people might want to do a stout route, as opposed to red wine or whatever yeah. stout. You can put them on that, or you can just go. This is this is the, mm. the general idea. So what we do as our general tour, for argument's sake, is to stop in Lily Patrick here, and people do a taste of him, and from here they go to Casey. Yeah. Beer. And then Soul Barrel, Soul Barrel, the best brewery in Africa yeah. for 2022 with the with the Grand Cru. So beautiful, this, by the way. It's a beautiful beer, and it's brilliant. Some could say it's a soured beer, but yeah. <laughs> okay. it's an aged but, sour. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me the semantics. <laughs> So the thing is, there's a lot to offer, and and, and you want station yeah. buddies. Uh, you need yeah. you need two people. You need one people. Doesn't matter how many people you've got, but it obviously works out cheaper the more people you've got on the bus. Twelve seaters, eighteen seaters, twenty-two yeah. seaters. That kind of is the idea. And uh, bachelor bachelor parties, stag parties, uh, but people that actually want to learn how to brew and actually want to go to yeah. specific events that might have a brew day. We we do that as well. Oh man, that's fantastic. Lots of stuff. And now. Let's delve into the tourism side of it. You know, the nitty gritties of it all. Nitty gritties. What is the aim for beer tourism here in South Africa? Okay, we, we're looking at now, we are in the Western Cape. Um, is your drive regarding beer tourism, what is your guy? What is your, your aim regarding beer tourism in South Africa? Okay, so, so, so beer tourism is, as a, as a whole, um, firstly, I mean, it's an industry that you build, but it's something that has to be self-sustained. I can't be the only person yeah. putting a bus on the road for it to be a tourism entity that uh, tourism drive that sort of runs so it's important I think we need to do the beer bra bus <laughs> so it's important <laughs> that there's a, that's a good idea yeah. <laughs> it's important that there's a, there's, a, there's many partners um, yeah. that get involved and independents that, that just do what they want to do but mm -hmm. following so the idea was to give a template so yeah. that the tour companies can do and we've had that we've had uh, companies from Germany and Switzerland uh, stopping here specifically because it, there was a map for it. There yeah. was something. There was nothing, and then there was something, and that's kind of what we were working towards. Okay. We're also working on uh, the tourism side, um, <laughs> which we'll, we'll call it the tourism side. But uh, there's a there's a it's it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of red tape. We've yeah. had fantastic help from the central government, yeah. um, from the tourism department, mm -hmm. and now of course it's stuck with the Department of Transport because they need to uh, authorize and approve. But it, it's 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 something that's in the working as yeah. well. That a place like this will have a brown sign outside that yeah. says, "Here we are." Uh, it's a it's not a wine. This is what a, do you, what he also means by a brown sign is that <laughs> if you go to a wine farm, you will see there's a big brown sign on the side of the road. <laughs> it's a brown. It tourism says sign. brown tourism sign. <laughs> yeah, it's that thing he's talking about. And also with that is that it will have its own logo. Yes, that yeah. is the idea. So. What we've settled on with the application is to actually uh, join it with all the, 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 the Department of Transport basically don't want to have proliferation of signs. So they okay. want to have Brandy saying we want to sign and Gin saying we want to sign and mm. Lager saying we want to sign and Ale saying yeah. we want to sign. So they said, well, for all and ciders for that matter, mm. for all things other than wine, why don't we issue one more sign? Mm. <laughs> and that's kind of what we're doing. So yeah. to work together so that there's a, uh, but there's a couple of concessions that they put into the paperwork that can say brewery, but you yeah. can't say winery on a wine site. Okay. So it just so uh, distinguishes it. We're looking forward to that, but it's it's been a slow, slow mm. process. Obviously, we had the pandemic in between. We started yeah. this process probably about two years ago, three yeah. years ago. And it's been kind of stuck in a, in a holding pattern with uh, legal departments that just need to sign off to say, look, Well, I hope that all of that changes. I hope it changes soon because... Well, we're working on it. Um, <laughs> I, I also think that like we were chatting earlier we were talking about the quality of craft beer in south africa as well now it's i think that um 
in comparison to the rest of the world also i think that the competition has got a lot mm. better as well um and i just think that craft breweries in south africa are amazing and it's not just mm. people must get out to that mindset correct that it's not a bar it is a place mm. where you can come with your family yeah and you can have a place to eat you can and that itself taste out the beers, that yeah. itself was a conversation with the department of transport yeah. explain to them that it's not we are not and it, no fault of their own i mean but mm-hmm. beer is associated with a six pack with the rugby yeah so to explain to them that this is an appreciation thing it's very much like a wine wine taste yes you're tasting a selection of things um and then you might have a pint of this or you might have two pints of yeah. this, but you can take it in bottles you can take it away yeah that is generally the idea um of 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 the beer tourism yes yeah. is, is that it's it's it, it, I, I say it again but wine and beer we kind of we're the same thing we, we're filtering yeah. into something yeah, you don't but, have to preach to me but yeah. it, it would be really nice to see one day is to have a winery and a brewery both doing it equally together yeah not, not the one the wine that wins or the beer that wins yeah. but sort of like a, a nice joint tap room that would be amazing oh man <laughs> it was said here today we said here today we'll, we're gonna make it happen. yes yes we're gonna make it happen <laughs> Final wine. <laughs> so thank you very much, Craig. Um, I awesome. think it's been very informative, and of course, this will not be the last time we'll be chatting, because I believe this is something that we need to yes. keep on going. This ball keeps on rolling, and let's get to that Absolutely. wine and brewery combo. Absolutely, and thank you very much. Yeah, for, for the time and giving us some time. No, awesome. definitely. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, Frost. This is so nice. <laughs>